the European Union has urged the Nigerian government to ensure that democracy in the country is in compliance with global human rights practices. Head of the European Union's delegation to Nigeria, Ambassador Michael Arion, made this demand during the Nigerian EU Human Rights Dialogue on Friday in Abuja. As you know, uh, respect for human rights and democracy cannot be taken for granted even in our own uh, European democracies. So it's a, it's a daily fight, it's a daily struggle to make sure that uh, uh, democracy and democratic principles are always uh, uh, complied with. Um, the point is certainly to try to have perhaps a better alignment between the EU patterns and the Nigerian patterns, but maybe more importantly, uh, to see um, Nigeria perhaps more aligned with other African countries because we have, uh, we have seen other African countries sometimes more aligned on us than, than Nigeria is. So that's something we really would like to, I think, um, uh, informally uh, uh, work on. As I'm saying informally because it's not uh, an EU competence to harmonize position in the EU, in the UN, but it's certainly something we can work together on in on an informal basis here in Abuja. And a second uh, possible uh, practical follow-up would be perhaps to work on something that is very uh, close to our heart, which is the, the Gender and Equal Opportunities Act. Nigeria is therefore open to discussions on human rights issues as we are committed to global best practices in this sphere. It is in this regard that we are promoting the domestication and implementation of international conventions already ratified by the federal government in the important realm of human rights and good governance. However, the government of Nigeria acknowledges that the path to doing so is strong with difficulties bordering on cultural sensitivities and, and practices. Nigeria has ratified, has identified with, and will continue to implement all relevant international instruments and convention on human rights and international law, including the 1948 Universal Declaration of Human Rights, the 45 UN Charter, as well as other international instruments in this area.